hey welcome friends and uh, thank you that i've just crossed 200 subscribers and uh, these are all for all because of you and uh, in this uh, before uh, starting this video i would like to say a few things that uh, for some days uh, for last few days i am little busy because my uh, end semester exam is just one month left and also there is a pressure of my project to work because i have a little problem with my project but still i am uh, finding time to make videos for you and uh, if you subscribe my channel then it feels good like good right because uh, it means that you appreciate my work so uh, if you if my videos help you then please subscribe my channel and also like and share my videos and that's all so now let's start the today's topic so today i am going to discuss about this particular reaction uh, which you uh, given in csir exam 2012 2012 or 13 right i think 12 now the reaction is this this is a derivative of pyridine where that uh, two so two three four five two and six positions are substituted with two methyl groups and it is reacted with these three conditions so by by uh, by the first condition you may uh, guess that this is nothing but verse reduction so and before going uh, going to discuss this problem first uh, look at the options given here okay so these are the options given now you can see so barge reduction if it occurs so obviously the residual selectivity will be first electron will add here and this will be your actually i should uh, write it like this because why i why i should write so i should write it like this okay because negative charge is stabilized on nitrogen not on carbon more stable on nitrogen so this will be first intermediate then uh, butanol is there third butanol so it will protonate this nitrogen to give you this dot and here you have nh now you have lithium uh, so it will give another electron so it will make so actually it will give another electron to give you this intermediate okay then finally i have so this is stable this is a stable in your uh, tart butanol medium it will not be protonated but when you treat it with h3o plus then this center will also be protonated so it is second condition and you will get this okay now what else can happen in uh, uh, your protic protic solvent and, and your uh, acidic solvent right what else can happen so previously when i discussed about barge reduction and uh, i discussed about the reaction of aniline in my barge reduction video that you can see so for aniline this was the initial product form but when you in acidic solution what it can do it can protonate like this so same situation is here and here you have proton so it can be protonated like this to give you this intermediate okay so here you have a positive charge now in case of aniline what happens it was this okay so you can see there is a possibility that this proton can be eliminated to give you this one right but in this case you can see this this uh, there is no such possibility because in this case two positions are there one is here and one is here and 
in this case one only one person only one type of proton is there and if it uh, eliminates then you will get, get back the same product so what else can happen now another thing what can happen you are using uh, aqua solvent right so the, your water molecule can attack here and in this way it adds here then further it can push electron and you know there are protons in your solvent so it can go like this and you are actually hydrolyzing your pyridine nucleus so up, out of that you get this ok now so it, it can stop here but see this is a conjugation and so further protonation can occur and if this occurs then you will get this one again your water molecules can attack here to give you this NH2OH and here you have CO2 Me. now when it push you will get this one so this is what 1 3 1 2 3 4 5 so 1 5 di uh, sorry 2 uh, 2 5 diketone so you ultimately get a 2 5 diketone out of this pyridine nucleus now when you look at this 2 5 diketone so this is your 2 5 diketone and you have basic medium NaOH so when you look at this uh, reaction condition it will immediately remind you one reaction that is what? Robinson annulation right so intermolecular anadol so OH minus will take this proton and you will be enol generating this enolate So now this inolate can attack here and that's why you will get uh, this okay then your base can deprotonate this so you get this another inolate and when it push back you are getting this so from starting from a pyridine nucleus you end up with a molecule where there is no nitrogen now this problem is important because it contains several reactions first of all birth reduction then your uh, hydrolysis then this Robinson annulation. So this type of problems you should do more because it will revisit your uh, concepts which you learned previously and also uh, it will uh, teach you how to approach towards a particular problem. So you don't need, uh, if you don't know the reaction from previously, if you have your, your concepts are clear, you can do it in your exam hall. But for that you need practice and this type of questions you have to do more practice and that's why I am uh, discussing it. So that's all. Thank you for watching and if you like the video then share it and like it and subscribe my channel.